everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Josie. Today we're going to do a Christmas tree DIY. And I went ahead, hopefully you can see that. I'm still working on lighting for my area here. I did the pearls a little different. I came across a better way of doing it. This is the Eileen's Tacky Glue. Instead of using the glue gun on the outer edges, I use this. And what I love about it is within a half hour, it's totally dry. But you put that on and it's white when you put it on, it dries clear. But it sticks, yet you have enough movement that you can adjust your pearls or rhinestones, whatever you're using. <clears throat> and you, it leaves a cleaner edge. You don't have the strings that you have to pull off or, I just like it so much better. And I wish I had come across this before. So today I am going to go ahead and show you, um, I'm going to put some jewels in the middle. I won't finish this. I will do another video and show you after it's finished. I am using the glue gun for, I needed an extension cord and I used them all on my Christmas trees. Let's see if I can move this. Anyway, uh, I just decided from now on, on the outer edges, I'm going to use this tacky glue. And in the middle and all the rest of it, I will use the glue gun. <laughs> now you can use the tacky glue all the way through, except you're not going to be able to go as fast. You're going to have to wait until some of the pieces um, dry completely. The pearls that I used, for the outer edge I bought at Walmart. There's 250. No, take this back, it's Crafter's Square. I bought this at the Dollar Tree. And that is a really super good deal. And I like the size. Now, does it say on the bag? Don't think it says what the size is, but I think it's a great size for Christmas tree heart. Uh, cross whatever. Okay, I'm going to lower the camera and hopefully now as I've suggested in past videos the flat pieces I always like to put first. It gives it the 3D effect. This is my idea on this one. You can see that, and I'll show you after it's all glued. And let's see here. I'm going to have to purchase some more extension cords, I see. And I like the 3D effect. I just, I just think it looks so much nicer than just flat. And the reason why you can go a lot faster with the glue gun for the rest of the wood parts is it's the glue gun sticks down instantly. Now this is kind of mesh, so the glue is kind of coming through, which is fine. And then we're going to put that there. Oh, and I have to remove the back. Hopefully, I don't bust this. I was going to do that ahead of time and I didn't. Okay, let's try this. Okay. 
it is being stubborn. And I'm trying not to break the rest of it. I see, and it was it was wired on. I'm sure this was a homemade piece. Hmm. Isn't this fun to watch? Okay. I've almost got it. There we go. Wasn't that fun? Okay, so I've got the back off. And I'm going to glue that right there. what you get so far. I like that there. I think that it's amazing when you first start these, you look and you think, oh, am I ever gonna really create anything? And then it seems like it all falls into place. Okay, let's add some other pieces here. Well, let's see what we have in the box here. sure what I want to do. And while you're doing those, you know, any of these things, that's the way it is sometimes. You just have to kind of work with it. Kind of like that but right there. I sorted through my craft stuff and picked out some reds and greens, some Christmas pieces. And sometimes it just takes several, you know, sittings to really finish this because you don't find the right pieces at first. Oh, those are kind of cool. I haven't decided on the top. I was kind of thinking of this piece here. And, or even turning it flat. It's kind of, usually you use these with the pointed side down. I, I don't know, I might put that there. Ouch. I know. 
actually just broke myself. Which is never a surprise. And you know, if you follow my other DIYs, this will all be uh, covered. I have some glue there that I don't like. But all this will be covered also. I just put it down flat so it could show the 3D effect. Oh, here's another one of those. And these take time to do. You know, it's... Well, I'll put that right there. And I don't, you know, think a lot of people realize the amount of jewelry and the time you put into these. A long ways to go. Let's see if we can put another. Yeah, I'll wait on that. Remember, it's going to have jewelry on top. That's just to give it the depth. Ouch. That metal makes it really hot. Okay. Now, when you actually see the finished product, you will be amazed how different it looks. Oh, I've got some Christmas trees and a gingerbread man. Let's see here. Oh, these work out really well. With jewelry art. If you have bracelets that you're not wearing or that maybe there's part damage. I like these um, scissor. They're not really a scissor but I bought these at the Dollar Tree and they work out really good. Okay, here's a some bells. I think that right there. You can just use your imagination. I did not put enough glue. Christmas tree.
Christmas bells. I'll try to do uh, quite a bit more, so I'll kind of give you an idea. And then, like I said, um, when I'm totally done with it, I will make another video showing you what it looks like. It just takes so much time that I don't have the time to just sit here and finish it all in one day. thought about painting the wood on this one. I think I'm going to do one that I actually paint the wood first. I think that will be a little bit different. And I know there's been some suggestions about why didn't I paint the wood first. On my big lighted Christmas trees that I did years ago, um, I used uh, velveteen on the back and you can use felt, whatever. And they were lighted, so they were made a lot different, but same technique actually. What do I want to do a little different? I'm trying to keep, um, you know, the Christmas colors. But I will put some bling in there. Some stubborn pieces today. stick and I like to use the Gorilla Glue it I think is the sturdiest and I purchased this at Walmart and there's many size is what it says and there's 75 pieces in here which when you're doing a lot of crafts goes pretty fast I'm pretty excited that I'm going to be doing some product reviews for craft items and I will be doing a full video with them and actually show what I how I use the product. Hopefully you'll stay tuned for that. And so far I've got four different items that are coming. 
so I can demonstrate them. Just going to add your pieces. You never know for sure what you're going to, that's what's so much fun. You never know for sure what you're really going to come out with. Don't want that. And then. I can put on the other side to level that one out. Oh, here's some more Christmas pieces. And I will put a cross in my tree for the reason, the main reason for Christmas. It's because our Lord Jesus was born. Is not going to work. Whoops, ouch. I guess it is. That's what I really liked about the other glue. You don't get all this strings. But it just, it would take you longer because, especially with the 3D effect, you would have to go in and wait until they, the bottom layer totally dried. And when I'm done with these, I always go back and clean them all up. I'm uh, starting to take some type of design. <laughs> I will do a few more <coughs> pieces, <coughs> excuse me, before I close this video. Man, I don't like that one. I saved little tiny earrings for the little corners. Yeah, those are really fun to get on because you burn yourself. That, that's what I usually use these little stud earrings for because putting them in the sale, most people, unless um, it's the second or third earring, do not wear something that small unless it's, you know, a child. Okay, I am going to also put this cross in.
what do you think so far? And I would just be thrilled. I've had a couple of people. In fact, one of them I put on a thumbnail in my video. <clears throat> who made a gorgeous heart. And she stated that I inspired her. And that means so much to me. I really hope this inspires you to create something. And I even hope it's better than mine. I am not a jealous person. I'm just thrilled when somebody does a great job. And there is people out there, I'm sure, that can do a better job than I do. I just enjoy doing what I do. But I want you inspired to do your own creations. I do, I've sold a couple of them. I've given most of my stuff away, but if someone wants to buy something on these jewel hearts or crosses, as long as they're not in a hurry, because these are time consuming. And if you private message me, I will give you a price. But once you uh, make one, you will know what I'm talking about as far as how time consuming and how much jewelry they take. And what someone said to me, which I find fascinating because I do the same thing, is once it's made, you can go back over there and you'll look at each piece again and again and be amazed at the combinations and and how they turned out and I think oh my that took a long time to do and it does but when I do things like this I totally am stress-free I do not think of serious things. I think of fun things. Let's see if there's another one of things like this they you know if you're making a Christmas tree they don't all have to be um, Christmas pieces by the way just if you want you can do a pink tree any color you want they don't have to be since I had some Christmas pieces is why I decided to maybe stick with some of the Christmas colors, or the traditional Christmas colors, I should say. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do a couple more pieces and then I will shut this video off and uh, do it again when I've got it about done, or when it's totally done. Let's see if I can flatten that one a little bit more. Now this, where it's kind of a mesh, when you glue it, some of the glue is going to come through. But remember, we're going to cover it, so it doesn't really matter. 
it just gives it the base so you can have the 3D effect. I'm going to put it on the board so I don't burn myself as much. just a couple more pieces and then we'll close it out. Don't like that there. I'll just add this one and then uh, I will try to finish this one as soon as possible since it won't be long before Christmas. I think it's impossible to use the glue gun and not burn yourself. Okay. What do you think so far? That's just the beginning. By the time this, this is gonna to be totally covered it really won't even look the same when it's all done. It's amazing. Get all the strings off. And I will do another video and show you the finishing product. But if you're going to try this, I would really recommend this tacky glue. And I got three and a pack. I like the smaller size because it's easier to handle. And you know how when you have a larger bottle of glue, the end gets all gunked up and you have to use a pin or clean it. This way you use this up really fast. And let's see, and then the Gorilla Glue. That is the sturdiest of all the glues I've ever used. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope I've inspired you to do one. And like I said, uh, one of the ladies, and I used it on a thumbnail on my video. Um, if you want to send me a picture, I will do that, as long as you give me permission to use your picture. And I'm just thrilled when someone writes to me and says, You've inspired me to uh, do a jeweled heart or cross or whatever. I mean, you can do a cat. They have wooden cats. There's just about anything you can think of. There's pumpkins. There's flowers. So whatever. But try it. It really is fun, I think. And especially now where so many people are staying home to me, you can just get rid of your stress. You sit down and you concentrate on putting pretty pieces of jewelry in some wood object. So anyway, I'm going to close this. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I love hearing from you. And please comment in the comment section. And if you have time, I appreciate you watching my videos. Bye, everyone. <laughs>